I don't know, Julian. It's just been a really hard day, you know? What with the Sam Squatch and the shipbird and all. Oh, hey. What's this all about, you ask? Trailer Park Boys, Green Bastard, Verde Sauce. I have been anxiously awaiting this moment far too long. I, as I'm sure are many of you a huge fan of the Trailer Park Boys, I got to review their original sauce a few months back, God, maybe even a year ago now. It was a super fun review. I'm going to need you to go back in time and check that out. Super excited to be a part of the rollout now to review this one, Green Bastard. The show is freaking awesome. The sauce is freaking awesome. The maker of the sauce is weird as hell. I like all of these things. And I imagine that I'll like this sauce too. Without further ado, Coney Island presents Trailer Park Boys Green Bastard Verde Sauce. Just having myself a little drinky poo. All right, let's talk about the sauce. As we get sauce, <laughs> it's just Pepsi Zero. Heat level is a four of 10. Got little quotes on the back of it, like what the characters had to say about it. It's green and good AF from Ricky. It'll effing crank, it'll effing crank you one. It's the green bastard. This better make some effing money bubs <laughs> from Julian. All right, now Julian speaks my language. The ingredients are tomatillos, water, scallion, jalapeno peppers, cilantro, garlic, serrano peppers, lime juice, spinach, carrots, vinegar, olive oil, xanthan gum, salt, spices, chili powder, and a partridge in a pear tree. Load. Shake well, refrigerate after opening. Manufactured at Parts Unknown for Coney Island Saucery, LLC. If you too are interested in having your very own Green Bastard Verde sauce, please visit www.coneyislandsaucery.com. Coney Island Saucery Trailer Park Boys Green Bastard Hot Sauce is a Verde style featuring fresh notes of cilantro and citrus tag teamed with garlic, earthy middle tones ending with a jalapeno, that's what it says, serrano flying elbow to the throat. I love these guys. They are like all about my type of humor. Pairs well with dirty old chicken burgers, bologna slices, tacos, skirt steak, hot dogs, or any food you want to add a devastating blow of flavor. Sounds lovely. Let's dig in. Just gonna get another little drinky poo. Okay, shake well. Keep your mind out of the gutter, you dirty bastard. <laughs> I've been really looking forward to this. I love the show, The Trailer Park Boys. The mastermind behind this sauce, Aaron Max Epstein, is a freaking hoot. I actually got to review him for my blog at ktbsaucy.com. Go check that out if you're interested in getting a little bit more backstory on Coney Island Saucery itself and Aaron Max Epstein. This is really cool. Let's see how it's gonna be. Pull out my fancy Chase the Heat spoon. Oh my God. Smells really fresh. And, and serrano-y, very thick, which is opposite of the last one. Wow, what a thick sauce. Dude, that's so thick, it almost looks like baby food. And I'm saying that like it's a bad thing, but it's not, that's a wonderful thing. Okay. Wow. Cilantro up front, then nice and citrusy, a really mild, oh yeah, this is what beer days are about, baby. Ooh, what an herbal like twist. It's so fresh and herby. Not what I was expecting. I was really thinking that this was going to be all character hype and no flavor and taste, but it is. Wow. The spinach really comes through in this. I really, really taste the tomatillo, the lime juice, the spinach. Garlic kind of takes a back seat. Uh, the spice is really minimal. This doggone thing is delicious. Oh, yeah, dude. <laughs> I, wasn't, I really wasn't expecting to like it all that much. It's got a great thickness to it. I mean, check that out, yo. That It's got a killer thickness to it. Yep, this would be phenomenal on burgers. And I don't ever say that because I don't think that sauce goes great on burgers. Hear me out. Sauces are really runnery, runny and watery a lot of the time. And so they don't make for great condiments, you know? It needs something with a little bit of girth, like mustard or ketchup. That's why those are good on burgers. But this is really thick and beefy. 
oh my god, I'm in love. I wasn't, re I really wasn't. Yeah. Oh my god, that's a really good one. Tony Island Saucery. Oh man. <laughs> yeah. That has a freshness. I love the spinach in there. I love the texture. I love the heat level. The heat level is mild. It's all flavor. Mm. The cilantro, the tom tea, all of it, y'all. All of it. Doggone. Yeah, I can't even make fun of that. I wanted to make a ton of like trailer park boy jokes, but I can't. That is a respectable sauce. Don't let the label fool you. Y'all know I love my greens. I love my greens. I love super good flavor that like everybody can enjoy. Y'all know that like at this point, I'm, my tolerance is at a really high level. I still can, I like the heat's here, but it is just a mild, doable heat flavor first. Oh my God. I'm giving this like a nine on a scale of one to 10. I'm giving it a nine and I only don't give it a 10 because you'd think I was lying if I gave it a 10. So I'm giving it a 10. I, I freaking love this. I love the fact that it's about the trailer park boys. I love that it's silly and fun. I love the consistency. I love the flavor. I love the heat. I think the heat is just perfect. Yeah, I was totally going into this thinking it was all just going to be like a joke. Um, but I really, really like this one a lot. This blows the first one out of the water. No offense, Coney Island Saucery. But this one definitely blows that first one way out of the water. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Again, if you have any interest in purchasing your own, go to www.coneyislandsaucery.com. If you would like to get some information behind the backstory of the sauces and the sauce makers, check out www.ktbsaucy.com. And there you'll find a blog where you can get all of that cool backside, backside, backdoor information, whatever. You know what I'm saying. Anyway, I would like to be left alone now with my sauce. <laughs> so... Thanks for stopping by. Um, I'm going to go have some alone time now. God bless. Y'all take care. Hey, I really like this one. Oh, I love greens, especially when they're so damn good.